gentlemen, this is going to be the tiebreaker for today's game. Well, the toss has been won by Shadels. It was heads and they chose to play CSGO. This is me, Jareen, and with me is Anurag for this game again. But this is going to be the final for sure. And we guys are going to see you in the next season. But still, let's see. We have 30 rounds together, guys. And uh, it's going to be pretty much fun. So, Shadels, Yakshas again for this battle. And now looks like it's going to be Yakshas who's going to win. The knife round the map is cash and they choose to play as these first. So any thoughts? And the winner and we are down to the map. Winner takes it all. It's the decider yeah. and we were waiting for it. We we had the expectations of a OT happening, a tie happening, and yeah. we have been proven right. So we, I have won a bet against Jerry now. On hey, it. dude, it was me. They don't, don't fool people. It was so me. It from was the like, day start, I was like saying Shadels. no. No, I was saying from the day start, I knew it was gonna be Hans to, to win a Tekken Seven. Okay, we can leave it yeah. for aside. Our yeah, bet, but I let's win. go live. It's like Shadels. They have the momentum. They don't have the momentum. Basically, it was a nice comeback coming in from the Yakshas. After losing the first two games, the Yakshad made a strong comeback in the cricket and the uh, Dota 2 game. Yes. So it's like Shadels, they have lost the momentum. They had the momentum earlier in the day, but now mm -hmm. it's the Yakshas. And as I say, as we speak, they have also won the knife round and they have decided to play as T. So it's like good strategy coming in from the Yakshas, but Shadels, they prefer to play as a uh, city side, uh, as we have seen from the past three maps. And they had destroyed the Yakshas in the first matchup earlier in the day. Let's see who gets the better of uh, each yeah, other and let's see who yeah. ends up victorious and it's a winner takes it also. They are playing for the prize money, they are playing for pride and of course the yeah. jive that they take at each other. It looks like there is a rush coming in for the T's and the Yaksha are going towards Bombside Bay. They have got those frags, initial frags that is quite risky to just to enter the side but now it doesn't look good as there's only Skadoosh left in the situation for one on two. The C4 has been dropped on the bomb side and now he has to retrieve the C and go for and retrieve the C4. It's gonna be slots taking a nice defensive position and Skadoosh has no idea there is a player left. Let's see if he is actually going for it then uh, slot. Uh, would have an angle over there and yes, Slot does have an angle but yeah, a little bit of damage coming in from Slots to Skadoosh but still a huge HP to work with on Skadoosh right now. Well, proper angles hold by both of the players of the Shadils and uh, C4 is dropped. That, oh, what shot by the shot Reds, coming man. in from Redza, he just destroyed him and he's looking a changed player uh, as, if, uh, as you are seeing from the semi-final stage. He's looking like a change player and he gets his USP right on point. We have seen those four headshots coming in in the semi-final and right now two headshots coming in. So it's like Shadels, they have started this on a very positive note. Let's see whether they carry the same momentum that they had earlier in the day and they would be destroying the Yakshas in the cash map too. Let's yeah. see. And the winner takes the cash also. <laughs> so it's like all to play for, for both cash and cash. Well, looking at the current setup, it's going to be a passive game coming in because the economy at the start is not looking good for the Yakshas. They lost the first round, the C4 was dropped, not even plant coming in, but Falcon pushing towards Bombside B and he now he gets recoil master. Well, a loss coming in already for the Yakshas and a one-man lead towards the Shadils. A pretty much good buy coming in from them as they like all the four players have kits. It's nice okay, to have kids. So yes. Here comes the kid again. So Jerin, <laughs> he loves the kid. And it's a Byron coming into the Yakshas. They are going in for the Deagles and the Armors. And let's see, Impale, he, he doesn't miss his shot. But yes, Freaky takes him down. Freaky, he's he's being in tremendous form the in the in the earlier map. And he just destroyed them. He was brutal in his entry. So was Buster. They just busted them hands down. And the shift was 13-2. But Yakshas made a comeback. And eventually the map uh, ended. 16 games to 10 and Rich. He would be under pressure soon and they have made an entry towards the A side but it's advantage uh, the Shades because they have their guns and Basha takes down too so he's continuing the form that is left and Starboy the lone guy surviving but he's taken down by Slot so two good run coming in from the Shades and not so good run coming in for the Yakshas but let's see what happens and <coughs> Shades do have the advantage on the CS uh, on, on the CS front because after winning the toss they opted for it so it they have the confidence going and Yakshas, they have to do majority of the killing if they want to make a comeback. They have a very strong Dota 2 sides. They are leading currently because they have 8 wins and the if and the you, next best team yeah. is Shadels which have 7 wins. If you notice one thing, it's uh, usually it's uh, the Shadels who pick T's first. Uh, and it was just the map uh, train that they took. 
for the city side. Oh, the rush coming in from the Akshan. It's not looking good for them as Buster and Rich just tag teaming up there on bomb side A. And he's gonna shut down those players. But Impel coming with a nice exchange frag on Ritz and Buster taking his pose over there, getting one more frag over there. Nice game coming in from their back. Step coming in from Falcon. He gets one frag, but going for the second, but not making it through. Well, 9 HP Recall Master has to fight the three guys left on the share. That's Freaky, Buster, and Slots. Not looking good for him. No armor, just 9 HP. Just a bullet coming in and he is gone down and it's going to be 3-0 coming in for the share but now it's going to be the buy coming and in for the And it's not the same map as Strain because Strain was a pretty city-sided map and CDs always have advantage. This map, Cash, it's, it's a skill-based map. It, it's like if you take out 10 rounds in any of the sides, it's a pure GG because you can execute your strategies, you have a lot of smokes and angles to play with. And let's see, if Shades managed to win this buy round, it would be very tough for the Yakshas and it would destroy the confidence eventually. And Yakshas need to come come up with something very brilliant to uh, disrupt their momentum. Uh, as we see, Shades are playing, uh, they have a very settled lineup going in and the uh, and they are marking uh, the poses at good angles and Buster just marking mid uh, aggressively there and Rich taking an open shot that shows the confidence he has in him. So no up coming in from the Shadels. So it's like a assault game coming in for them. Let's see what happens. Manthi just marking mid and he was not up to the mark in the first game. So it's always the fourth and the fifth pick who who needs to perform and uh, and slots and Freaky did wonderfully well in the first game. So it's up to Manthi and Starboy to stand up big time here if they if they have to win this. Otherwise they would be taken down very easily by the Shadels. Well, it's Ritz taking a little bit aggressive posy towards the bomb site uh, over there. Now he has spotted players, but now he is gonna go down instantly as Impel spots him and gonna shut him down. Well, rush coming in from the Yakshas and the and slots would have to handle it right now. And it's if he goes out, he's dead pretty much because like those the fire that he has to exchange uh, like against the Yakshas would be massive right now. And Falcon just making a fallback. I don't know why because. There are a lot of mollies coming in from the Yaksha side, so it's definitely they're going to go for a ma and make an A play. Oh, nice rotations coming in from the city side as well. But the players are on side. Falcon is flashed, but now he has a vision, but he would be getting down by a uh, recoil master over there. And Slot's getting those two easy frags coming in, but uh, Skadu is coming back with a nice reply and is going to shut down Slot. Well, it's going to be a 2v3 situation. Now, the players do have like smokes and molly to work with for this round uh, on the Yaksha side and Mantri going in uh, towards the A mains just to check whether a push or a backstab is coming in from behind. But the players are on side and Freaky is going to get that kill and initial frag was needed over there and uh, two players playing again, like together now is the proper strategy for them. The Buster shutting down one more frag is all on Mantri right now. Well, he does have uh, a grenade to work with and yes, it's Buster going to shut him down. The diffuse is happening. It's gonna go for the fourth round as well. Ah, okay. The economy and has been destroyed for the Yaksha. They will have to go for the eco. And what do you tell about Bastion and Freaky? They are just destroying them. They were the highest faggers, two highest faggers in the first map. And they have and they have made a mark out over here and they, they have proven once again uh, uh, why we talk about them so much. And th mm -hmm. this is how you close around. And they were very patient. They let the molly go out. They let the smoke go out. Then they made an internet and eventually coming out with the diffuse. And Mantri, he couldn't kill the diffuser. So it's not good gameplay. He's like gone into a shell right now and he's not taking those open shots. It's like a CS is a team game. You need to play very freely. And if you take the pressure, the pressure eventually gets the better of you. So that is what is happening with the Yakshas. They, they are like pretty bogged down right now. It's like, yeah, CS kill na pad raha Had it been Dota, they, they, they would have been up for it and the dugout would have been buzzing now. But it's a sh but the Shades had, had the smile, had the biggest smile after they won the toss. But we cannot say yet who's going to win because it's quite early to predict that. But the way the Shades are playing right now, they are just destroying them. It's like they're not letting them cross the zero marks. Yeah, and looking at the Shades' gameplay, they play aggressively. Uh, but to, uh, the Yakshas made a nice decision by going towards the side as the, the aggressive gameplay couldn't come out of the Shadels because uh, at City side you have to play passive and you can't play aggressive on the City side because then it, it can go for a loss. Well, the Molly pops in and it's gonna throw off the Ritz pose because it's now been an uncomfortable position for him right now. The players are moving towards uh, the bomb side A, the flashes moves in and it's gonna be Recall Master taking the first track over it. Going for the second track as well, it's gonna be Slot who's gonna get shut down. The smoke pops in for a nice cover over there. The C4 will be going down soon. Oh, shot coming in through the smoke and it's gonna just erase off Recall Master over there. Well, two players 
towards A mains and Drake is just shutting down Impale. What a frag coming in, making it a 3v3 situation. Equal on both the sides right now. For all the players with perfect rifles and uh, Mantri does have a flash to work with now. And it's, he is stuck in the quads. And that's a very tricky position for him. And he goes down as Buster is moving in. And the C4 is not looking good or towards the Yaksha side because it's like the towards the inner plant and the defuse can happen easily. It's gonna be Freaky who is still on the defuse and it's gonna be a defuse coming in. And they have won this it's round. Five nil coming in. What is going on in this game, man? When you know and the C4 is not at your vision, why do you take like a, such a defensive or passive pose? And it's like Freaky is looking like a player you can go to war with by your side against the universe. He's just yeah. destroying them. And a not good game they coming from the Yuxas. Two guys making up their way up to A main when the plant is at the default side. So you, you cannot take a shot. Uh, you cannot take a shot. And that was quite brainless from the Yuxas. And I guess they are getting the pressure. The pressure is getting the better of them, and they are feeling the nerves. And it's like uh, it's a very chilled out gameplay coming out. It's like it's usual business for us. It's nothing changes. We'll just destroy them and eventually take the check. Uh, or, or the cash, <laughs> which they offer, but uh, not good Last performance. Last time it was and Neon Marksman. James Wan yeah. in the making out over Who? there. It's Mantri, who's at uh, 0 5 currently. And let's see by the way he's playing. I don't know whether he be, he would be managing to open his account in this map. Because it's not a good performance. It's, it's just disappointing to, to see such a good team losing at the end. And after they were leading the points table. And Shadels, you can call it call them the underdog. You call them, call them whatsoever name you can. But they have proven this today that... They are here to give up a fight and they are just uh, not, letting, uh, not letting the Yaksha rest in peace. Yeah, and the game is really good. Oh my god, Sloth is just on fire right now, taking down Impale and Starboy. Nice two frags coming in, but uh, it's going to be Skadoosh who's going to push in by Falcon and Recall Master just burning him to death and it's going to be like a barbecue session just burning towards the B entrance. Mantri just going to make an entry as he's just going YOLO with that smokes and molly and not getting like those perfect shots. He's just like that support that you need on the team just to throw off your things, the resources and the utilities that you need. But you you, you don't need a, such and a support in a final and it's like a final, you, you, you need your support to fire. You, you He just cannot drop weapons and Freaky, Freaky the boss today, he's like on fire. He's looking like an alien and the timeout coming in from Yakshas and scary it is coming. Scary moment, man. And the scary moment and after, and, and they have taken a pause quite early uh, while they did, didn't take it at first in the train and they took it after eight rounds and the audience making it difficult for us to just cash and they uh, they want to play with our voice there. Yeah, so, even the crowd is going crazy and they are the they are for supporters, if man. You don't yeah. know, man. There are only few supporters of Yakshas out here, but Yakshas, they, the team is, uh, if, if they raise your voice, it's like they can take on the entire audience, but the way the Yakshas are playing, they are not giving them any chance to make, uh, uh, what do you call it? The, uh, <coughs> May give them any opportunity to shout out their name. Well, it looks like after this tactical pause, we are going to have a technical pause as well as Kadoosh has disconnected from the server. So, a technical pause coming in might be a few frame drops or something that would have happened. But, nevertheless, what's going on in this game, man? Like, uh, Shadels, we have seen them, them dominating the Yakshas in the previous game. It was 13 2 the first half switch, and even the Yaksha shows some showed us some nice uh, comeback in that game, like ending at 16-10. So if you notice the overall game that happened, like these guys, every time, every freaking time, man, they played Every train. freak, they don't take the name freaking time. It's yeah, it's freaky. Yeah, freaky. He's then freaking freaky goes out. freaky, man. Yeah, so freaky it happened like 16-10 every single time and it was so train. it's like the lucky number. It's like ek bar tu, ek bar mein. And let's see. But if, if, if the shift happens 13-2 in the, this map, it's all in over for the Yakshas. They they cannot afford to give more than nine to ten rounds to the uh, shield because nine, if, like they have because to get if the lions smell blood, they are going in for it. And nine rounds is the max they can afford. And after that, being a very uh, shield is being a very strong T side, and the kind of anti fraggers they have, mm -hmm. they would make life very difficult for the yakshas in the city side. Yeah. And by the way, we are seeing freaky the anti fragger playing. It's just they would be praying that the bullets would connect and they could eventually make up some rounds because they are not at this. Because they're not on the scorecard yet. It's like Shade is at 6 and Yaksha's at 0. Not looking pretty good for them, but CS is a game of comebacks and you cannot. Uh, well, that smile coming in on Freaky. Look at them. This is giving them some nice motivation as they know the crowd is on their side. 
but it can be also a little bit nervous moment coming in for them because they now know the crowd is expecting a lot of from them like too much from them and uh, now let's see and <laughs> the chanting coming in for revolt over there and this is amazing and yeah. coming back to the game the match would be like film because kadish has me uh, he has been reconnected to the server small tech yeah. issue it keeps on happening machines 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 you cannot trust them but yeah, in technical the, issues man can't be handled come up it's like the pc gets heated sometimes lag issue and the, and you know the knuckles of the player it's like, like even if it, it, there's a drop of 30 to 40 fps like me ko nahi jabra me ko nahi jabra it's like but you have to play it, it it comes down to your skill level it's like people play even in 100 fps i have been through that phase i have i have played in 80 but it's a tournament bro but you can't expect but you cannot expect such kind of configuration out over here and yaksha they have the same strategy it's like they are waving the same flag again and again it's like we will coming we will coming aim in and we would be eventually dying we would we would manage we would still manage to plant the bomb but we'll let them defuse you because we have a big heart and we will let you win this yaksha they need to change the strategy i if there's a site someone go and tell them there's a site called b in a map, map like cash and buster you just need to avoid him because he is on fire buster 3k i don't know what yeah, he's trying man. to prove there but they need to shut him down if they, if you don't shut down 3k and buster at the correct moment it's going to backfire the yakshas because these two players are just behaving like beast and they are just like those uh, what do you call like they are just hungry for frags right now they need those skills and look at buster like he is actually just waiting like just someone needs to enter and he is going to finish him off instantly well the smoke pops in and the flash go down as well like nice molly coming in by buster just to block the players and not going towards the forklift and they have to enter side and fall and now buster is going to go down and rich as well It's not looking good for the Shaders right now, but they have been showing us a nice comeback. And they have game. Yeah, it's still freaky left in this uh, situation. So let's see. Well, firing towards the core through the smoke, not looking good. But it's gonna be Mantri who's gonna face off freaky over there, and I do not trust his aim. Let's see, he, is he gonna become the James Bond? No, he finally gets one frag, and now fighting towards. now fighting against slots over there slots gets two instant frags both of them are low on hp just a tap of a bullet would erase them from the map right now and buster with a huge hp lead over here he is going for frags he know the players are low on hp but no it's going to be sabo who's going to shut him down and finally making a point for the scoreboard so nice that is coming in for and the and a nice timeout coming from the yaksha i get they have got their thoughts process in line with the shaders now because they managed to get on the scoreboard after six rounds but shared is it they, they don't need to be worry about this because they they, they brought it even to a one on two situation and you can should see the hp on recoil yeah. stop but they didn't have much hp to play with so it's like a clear strategy from the yakshas that they would be entering the a side and they would be going Uh, 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 popping in some smokes and using the flash and the mollies eventually and shaders would have to recap the site and until and unless shaders opt for an aggressive setup it would be a similar strategy coming in from the yakshas but now they are trying to out out fox the opponents out over here and they have made an entry towards the b side and now they are playing as a team it's like you could be you could see the in the mini map you could see all five of them taken to together in a bunch and If the back sap comes, it would be very dangerous for them. And shade deals by by the kind of perform they are in. Basha with that uh, back sap, yeah. and as I speak about it, we get Basha and he gets a kill. And it's a three on two with recall Masha and Skatus. It's like Yaksha. They manage to throw out simple rounds every time they get on the scoreboard. And Falcon with his off. Let's see. He has a great AK control, and let's see whether he could do some damage with that off. The C4 has still not gone down. It's like they want to eliminate a um, single shade deals player before planting the C4. But as we speak. and recall master gets a good shot on falcon out over there so it let's see who would be uh, taking that off it's rich who has an ak and slots go and rich goes down and, and slots gets a kill and let's see it's a one 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 with slots and kadush both have the ak and slots got gets a kadush what a performance what a player slots standing up the right time and he's doing it for a team so it's like every freaking player of shane is standing at the Standing at the right point and proving why they are selected in the team, and they are assuring the faith in the captain of of the of the opting for CS go after winning that shot, after winning that toss. So it's all looking good for the Shadels, and they have pulled out an ego. What do we what do we say to Yaksha? It's like 
it's giving like it's those like easy, easy rounds. Yeah. Well, yeah, it is just like the formality. They are just playing and they do not want to make sense. The game. Oh my God, Rich coming in with those crazy off shots, and he is gonna shut down Recall Master and impale the two main guys for the Yakshas. Oh, what shot coming in? Just a tap, just erases off him from the map. It's gonna be Freaky who's gonna go down, but Slots coming in with the refrag over Skadoosh, and he is gonna just like wipe him. Oh, Ritz is going crazy with those off shots. He has got one more frag. Will he go for the quad kill? Then it's gonna be Star Boy. He is actually just going for that AK, being a little greedy. But now let's see. Will perfect angle coming in? Now he has the uh, the C4 with him, and there is not much on him. Like he doesn't have any uh, armor or any resources. Just that he can save or anything. And just a P250. Yeah. Yeah. And, and in the map, we don't. And in this entire season, we haven't seen Recall Master performing exceedingly well. He's a kind of player that you need to perform. Yeah. And everybody has seen his potential, but I don't know is the, what is happening with him. Is the use cipher jinx for him, and he's not able to perform. But Share this. You just look at that. Look at them. They were a completely different team. Three ma three maps, three matches ago. They had their fight. They had fingers pointing at each other. You could see the banter going on between the team at the stage, pointing out mistakes on the stage. But as soon as they have reached semi-finals, they're a transform transform team and they're backing each other up. It's like you could hear Freaky saying some words in the first map. So it's like it doesn't happen. It happens once in a blue moon. Freaky speaks up, but he he did eventually. Yeah, he is not a loud mouth like others, and uh, we have seen his gameplay because he, he doesn't say game much. do his talking. Yeah, exactly. He doesn't like say as much. He lets his game do the talking. And looking at the current scenario, there is a split gameplay coming in. Like two players towards the A mains, one is still holding towards mid, and uh, like three players are holding towards mid. So maximum of the players towards the A side. So they did. Get a frag over Falcon. So a one-man lead coming in towards the Yakshas now, and Slots is just ready. And uh, look at the HP over Skadoosh. He is low on HP. Just a bullet can just erase him off. And uh, it's gonna be Impel who's gonna shut down Buster. So a rotation coming in towards Bombside B. Freaky is ready for it. The Molly goes in and the nade goes as well. They now know the Freaky is actually gonna wait on site. Looks like not going good for the Shadels, and it's gonna be Yakshas going for this map. Well, Ritz getting this easy frag on Impale right now and making it a 2v4 situation. And well, what do you think? Like, it's uh, they should actually go for a save instead of just moving towards in because. Uh, I it, guess uh, they have yeah. heard uh, heard your word and they're going in for the save, which is correct decision to do because they don't have much uh, economy, much economy work, left yeah. on their side. It's like they. If, if the throw is down, they would have enough funds to buy for the next round, but not for the next to next round. So they are, they have made the right decision, and Ridge just taking out Skadoosh out of the map there. And I thought they would be going in for the round because of the kind of momentum they are carrying from the past few rounds. I guess they would be going in and trusting the bullets, but they thought otherwise, which is a wise thing to do. Had it been Ridge and Falcon, they had, they would have surely gone in for the round, but. They're being slots. It's like a it's it's a small hiccup for them. It's like they they don't trust him completely because he's a fifth support and he's just new to the scene and we haven't heard his uh, and we haven't heard of him enough. But the kind of performance is showing up from the last two maps. He's a player to look out to in the future. Yeah, we have seen some amazing game skills coming in from all the players. It's not like if Mantri is not performing today, he is a bad player. We have seen him be, uh, play amazingly in. In the uh, in uh, be like just, before it, the it's, finals, it's just not his game. It's just his, uh, it's also the pressure because now he feels because the total game would be on his team and uh, they are actually gonna. This is the like the finals map and you do not have to take that of like pressure. Just to, that would affect your game, and that's exactly happening with Mantri currently. And they are opted for a dual uh, dual system at mid, which is a good thing to do because see, Yaksha, they are trying to enter mid and the A side, and ev eventually they are faking it at A man and making a retreat towards B. And Impale has taken down Falcon out over here, but Rikal Masha and Impale they don't have good HPs to play with, and even a nade can put them off instantly. So they are, they they just want to trade this with caution and they and just let it to Skadoosh uh, to do the entry fagging and to do uh, some more killing out there because. Uh, as long as Freaky and Buster and Ritz are alive, this round is not over for the Shade Deals. Even if, if it's a 3 on 5 and Ritz, I hope he sprays a bullet to his left or just uses a nade which he doesn't have. <laughs> the imaginated, he, he just has. It's, it's slots. My bad. He, it's slots. He doesn't have a nade, but it's a good setup coming in. And he would be spotting Impale soon because he's just hiding there and 
he and he takes him down so nice come shot and which has been flashing on the side let's see whether he could get the kill but Scott Cardus gets the better of him there it's a three on four and it's up to Buster he has taken much damage and if let's see I, I guess they're going in for the save again because it's a two uh, two on three but if freaky match should get a single kill he would be going in for the round and he would and he gets a kill he's going in for the round i bet he's going in for the round and skadoosh and he's watched out but gets him down but oh, skadoosh the weapon down that was good game play coming up freaky he just rushed things up but he needed to have some chill pill out there just just, just give, giving some time but skadoosh was just coming up at the right time because he had less hp to play so he had to take the first and, uh, shot if freaky would have managed to get a first shot on him he would have been there surely i bet my entire right? money on it okay well uh, there should be like a rush game coming cool. in for uh, like cool. for the shares but no i'm like i might be wrong because uh, we have seen the <laughs> equal on that they played on it was 6-1 if i'm not wrong so that right. the round that they played it was totally equal and they still managed to win this so i don't want to like uh, give any all right everybody tips, like, we're right in the middle of our dota game i think the 11th round match, dota it, game fuck i am like uh, <laughs> i can't say much because these players are like so Wait, they what, have like uh, a yeah, next level on. game sense compared to me what i have and that's why they are there Today. And Falcon with a good shot coming in, and he touches the AK straight away. So it's like it would be trouble right, guys, for them if he connects his bullet because he has an AK. Go. So they are trying to enter the A main side. It's Starboy who who will be coming in Last to go and would be facing facing the front. And he spots Recall Master, but couldn't manage to bring him down. Recall Master getting the frag, and Buster he has to deal with fire, and he couldn't manage to get a single kill. It's a two on four, and they would be going in for the round. And but Scott couldn't manage to get even a single kill. So it's up to Freaky and with those bullets, let's see whether he could do some damage and some and at least drop some weapons. And let's see what he's game. up to. He's just uh, waiting at the car side. He's stronger, just waiting for the exit frag because he knows he's, I mean, really he's not a Superman out over there to the just the take out the round. And we are uh, yeah. sometimes yeah. we ask too much out of him. Yeah. And let's see, he spots right. him. Right. Misses a shot and Impel gets a kill on Freaky. So a, a slight comeback com coming in from the Yaksas, managing to reduce the lead to only four rounds here. But let's see what happens. The game could change anytime, and you could see a shade will roll. The the shade will roll back. I was saying yes also. But a nice comeback coming in, as you said in the uh, uh, like in the earlier rounds that they should not give them more than nine rounds, and that is what exactly is happening currently. They are stuck on eight points, and uh, it's gonna go for like eight four. So it's it's like going up like a pretty much towards your side what you said. Eight four currently like the perfect score line. And, oh, I think yes, Ritz did spot a four coming in from, from a player. Like that tiny bit of a gap is just enough. Like that window is way but bigger. But we already saw that the shaders fire, uh, are really adept at making someone. a but comeback when it matters. Yes, yes, with the marksman, and, and that was insane. And he's blinded again, so he's going in for the op. But they but they have the, the smoke pop in him, and Rich gets a final magic gets exactly. a kill on Impale there. He just spot his leg and. The, and he just connected pretty well. It's Starboy yeah. who's coming in from the doors. It's a similar strategy we used by. And he matches a headshot on Recall Master there. So it's a three on three, even out for both the teams. And it's up to Slot Freaky and Falcon to do the killing now. And the C4 would be going down soon. And Starboy has taken much damage from. And he couldn't stop the C4 planter there. And Skadoosh with his op. Let's see whether he could get some kills out over there. But Freaky just trying to uh, be the jumping jack out over there. And Skadoosh, he was caught napping. I don't know what shot he was taking. And Slot managing yeah. to get the other kill and Mantri being back set. So it's a comeback from the shade. The day at the Lions have finally gone back. Yeah, man, like amazing. Man, every single because, round that is being won. If you see at the early, uh, at this round, there were so fake moves coming in from the Yachas. It was totally bad performance coming in from them. Uh, right. the one of the yeah. Yeah. going out over there, he, 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 he has a head put on and he had slots just rushing up near him and, and he was just marking CD base. It's like too late to mark CD. Absolutely. But it seems like it's been a gamble for both our teams today, having chosen like the cash map. It was and just made like a cloud. And These guys are that on was like pretty bad smoke are on a thin from rope. the Yachas, like no proper smoke yeah. and one, one was towards the ladders. And I bet like, it was actually going to go towards the city side but it didn't go through and uh, now it's going to be like bad for uh, Frost and Impale has spotted yeah. him over there. He is missing those shots but Mantri won't and he has uh, got him shut down. Well, I do think like uh, it's gonna, Impale did miss a uh, smoke over there and it just hit. Like close to the vents, uh, towards so the roof. So it's a steady and like race uh, to the top. It is.
But still, oh, well, well, the pain that we saw the yakshas, CSGO between the Yakshas and the Chase. We're seeing, what, one better skills here, more strategy. Going for the second flag as well. What are we, what's different? This guy is on fire right now. Well, Fulton does spot the player over there. He's hitting the shot, but finally, would connect. And got a shut down. Skadoosh over there. Rico must be coming in with the right flag. Right. Over Buster. Yeah. And it's going to be a 2 yeah. three situation. <coughs> on nice lead. Well, the players are low on it. But still, over it. Missing that shot. He should have. Well, that can be punished over there. And yes, he does. Finals, I can feel it. I hope, right like, I hope you guys can see it from on the. I hope you guys can see it from the other side of the screen. Everyone here is buzzing with a lot of nervous energy, and my stomach is hurting because I'm so curious to find out who is going to take this. Oh, my God! Round man, round man, and it's like celebrating to pass the change in Zagar out over here. And he eventually closed that round, but he couldn't manage. He thought he fired the bullets, and he he would have died eventually. But those bullets were not enough for Manti. He was on 100 HP. So not doing that much damage. So Freaky just being overconfident out there, uh, out over there, and it happens sometimes. But a nice try but coming in. Nice man. try coming in. He he got a good shot on recall master there. But let it see whether it it would be 10-5 or 9-6. And if this run goes to the shield, it, the momentum would be with them, and it would be clear, and we would be having a clear winner by the kind of performance they're putting it right now. But looking at the current scenario, the economy for the share bills has been destroyed as they do not have like much to buy. Few upgrade pistols coming in, like three deagles and two CZs on them and armors as well. It's only Brits with a kit on him. So if the C4 goes on, they, they do have like a little bit of time to work around the rotations and all. So like perfect buy is coming in for the Yakshas though. And they do have like smokes, like five smokes on them to enter the site just to capture like each and every and block off all the visions that the share would have. Block off all the angles also. Yeah, block off all angles and vision like they have uh, on the share deals. So a 9-5 score line is good, but let's see, is it going to be 10-5 or 9-6? Well, Buster taking some little bit of damage coming in towards mid from uh, Starboy over there and he is now stuck in this situation as the players are rushing towards him where it's going to be Starboy who's going to shut down Buster and getting that initial flag. Well, Ritz with a nice posey over there. He shouldn't have fired or should have changed the posey over there. Well, Starboy going crazy with those three flags coming in for him. And now it's not looking good. Well, Skadu is shutting down Freaky over there. And it's just Falcon with a CZ and a nade and a flash left with him. Oh, what shot coming in. A tap of bullet erasing him off of the map. And it's going to be 9-6 the first half. Over here, a nice comeback coming in from the Yakshas. So a good game over here. Good comeback from Yakshas. Let's see who's gonna win the pistol round. It's gonna be a swap and Shadils are gonna play ST. I'm, I'm telling you, it's quite even out, out over here because had it been 10-6, the Shadils would have 10-5, it would have been advantage Shadils. But if the shift is 9-6, and if Yakshas managed to win the first pistol round, they, they can easily even the lead. And it could be nine all soon. So it all depends on the first pistol round for the Shadels. And if they manage to win it, it would be good for them. Because then the, the Yakshas have to come eco for two round, And it would be easy for Shadels to close out that round. But if and if Yakshas win, win the e pistol round, it is nothing much to choose between both the teams, my friend. And it would be pretty difficult. And the team with the major amount of good amount of skill set would eventually be the winner. And in the end, CSGO would be the winner. Well, I do think... Uh, nice diplomatic answer yeah. coming in from me. <laughs> <laughs> Not to be biased on any side. Well, I, uh, honestly, I do think it's going to be Shadows to win this round because uh, they are good on tees and they play aggressive gameplay. So if there is uh, like a proper execution, uh, uh, well, you can see Falcon does have a smoke and a flash, like two flashes to work with in this situation. So it's going to be a nice if uh, he executes the smokes and flashes well. So, oh, now it's looking like Skadoosh is going to play aggressive in that situation. Now the players have info. He is going to go towards the forklift. The players are rushing towards him. They want to erase him off the map. And Freaky has made an entry to the side. But it's going to be Starboy who's going to shut him down with a nice shot. Oh, Impel going for a second frag. It's not looking good for the share. That is going to be Buster the one going over here. And they have shut him down. Not looking good. Like, no perfect smokes or flashes coming in at the perfect time. That went for a toss. So my worst fear has come true after all. And yeah. it would be nine all soon. If and if the Shades don't decide to go for and buy, but they have gone in for a buy. They have taken the armors, they have taken the pistols. So the Lions are going all guns, blazing at the Yakshan. And let's see whether they could 
uh, managed to secure the site and it's a bee that's coming in straight out and it would be just Falcon who would be just destroying them at mid so the backup doesn't come in time. But Recall Master, let's see whether he would be going in aggressive as smoke comes out. is a pretty defensive play coming in from the Yakshas there and a quite smart move too because you you you, do, you don't want to engage in close range fights with the Shadewills and that to at Pistol Round because it's quite a disadvantage and Pistols can be very lethal if, yeah. if uh, at, close uh, as yeah, at season close, legal, right? close range fights. And, but let's see. Shade is just waiting for the smoke to go off and they will be making an entry soon and it's Buster who will be doing the honours but he was caught off guard and he just uh, looked at an onside but Freaky coming with the headshot on Recall Master that shoots Mantri. Let's see whether he could get some skill. They would be aiming for a plant and he's blinded but Mantri misses those bullet and let's see if Impel coming in for the backup and making it 9-8. So it's all going neck to neck out over here. Nothing to choose between both the teams and as I see we are in for exciting decider out over here and the game living up to his expectation. We don't have a clear winner yet. It's a tough fight and difficult to decide right now who's going to win this one because even the Yakshas are playing really well in the second half. And oh well, my not, goodness, not did you see the scoreboard? It's Manthi who's topping the scoreboard right now. What? What am I seeing? How did I miss it? Magic Mantri coming in. Magic Mantri. Well, he is on the top now and we can see oh Skadoosh going in from behind now they have the C4 a backshot coming in from Skadoosh going for second flag ah what can do for the third flag as well as Buster is gonna shut him off as he bursts his head off so strategy and is clear from the Yakshas that they would be rushing in they would be rushing in the, uh, rushing up their opponent like they did in the first round and they, they they won't be giving them much play much space to play with and mm -hmm. I think that's a good strategy because Shades would be caught off guard by that and they and it would come as a sweet surprise for them and, they, and, and, I, and I guess, and if they have an answer, it's good for them. But if they don't, it, the yuck shots would be all over them. And by the two rounds we have seen from Skadush, it's clear that he's going all guns blazing. He's like he's right, riding on a horse right now and he would be going in for the hunt. He just got that like a moment like and he saw there's no one uh, marking towards mid and this is the correct time to just to push and just catch them off guard and that what he did. He get to the, he get he got those two initial frags just pushing in from behind towards the mid and even saw the C4 was dropped over there so he like passed on the info that it's gonna be A for sure and that actually created a little bit of confusion towards the Yakshas and the players are now moving towards bomb side B as the door opens and it's gonna be a confusion coming in. Well Ritz has gone down and now it's gonna be recall watcher who has to break the fight. The C4 has gone down, he is going for the fight and yes he does manage to shut down the two share players. And now it's gonna be nine to nine. It's gonna be a crucial, crucial round for both of them as the buy round comes in for the Shadels right now. And perfect mollies and smokes being uh, and like a dual of yeah. setup coming in from the Yaksha, it's Idikal <laughs> Master and Skadush. And if this guy and if these guys click like they did in that train map train against the uh, yes. Shadels, and it would be pretty difficult for the Shadels because the opposite because one of would be at the A side and one would be at B. So the and what was that? What was Buster doing out over there? He just ran over a molly and just managed to kill himself there. But Freaky with that entry frag on Skadoosh. Skadoosh being too ambitious out over there. But Starboy is damaged and a nade would be moving better for him. But no, he gets a kill on 3 HP there. On a single HP, he got a kill on Freaky out there. It's a not good kill coming in from Freaky. Freaky out over there, I guess he's too, he's too excited. Some over ambitious shots coming in from the Shadels and from the Yakshas too. It was a needless shot taken by Skadoosh. And as we speak, Mantri, what is he doing? He's just shakes on Falcon. So he's like going in for the kill and slot shakes down Impel. Slot shakes down Mantri. It's a 2 on 2 with Starboy with a single HP left. And even a nade passing through here would prove fatal to him. But let's see. Rich taking the control of the A side and the C4 would be going in soon. So the rotation from Slot would be at A main and he would be just waiting. His, uh, and he would be just waiting at the A main and he would be going in for the plant. I hope this, uh, this goes well with the Shadows because it is their round to win. And it is only by their mistake that they, they would be losing that round. It's all up to Recall Master to uh, gauge the situation pretty well. But he should know that the plant is for Amen and he would be just checking cards because that is what we all have been thought of. It's like when you go to a site, he check cards and kid. you have to check all the posy and he doesn't have a kit. The Yakshas don't have a kit. And he could and he didn't have the funds there in. He, uh, yeah. he, he got a kill in this round and that is worth the $300. So it's like Shadels have the advantage. They just pulled out a knife, a buy round out over here, and they would be coming eco. The Yaks has only recoil master. So I guess the strategy would be re recoil master marking B alone, and rest of the guys marking B, uh, uh, mid, and A. Well, Mantri does have like a 
यक्षास a buy on coming in from yakshas again so shade this don't have the info that they are going in for a buy it's like only recall they they have the info is that only recall master would be going in for the up because it's a uh, normal tendency for all the players it's like when you lose a buy round you go for an eco round straight away but let's see whether shade this would be surprised by this or they will surprise the yakshas look to the mp like he is as uh, aggressive we had a, an aggressive posy to as as the players won't expect him to just be over there and uh, buster It's too much when, as the smoke goes off, they now have uh, have a clear info that a player is actually holding towards mid because that uh, the angle of the smoke that came in was a clear indication that the player is towards mid, and now slots is gonna burn one three over there as like the re frag and the exchange coming in from both of them. Kadus is gonna shut down free, but ball can through the smoke. He's gonna shut down Shaw boy and Rika Masha coming in one more frag and he's gonna shut down Falcon. Well, a two v three situation. Like what timing of that? Like of that scope, like he just moved over there. He is just taking a perfect small bit of window for him just to work like in the on that side. So, so it's a, like an yeah. inch of a mistake here and there, and the round goes either way. So it's like let's see, Rikal Masha didn't miss a trick out over there, and Ritz is in a very dangerous position right now, and he just managed to sneak pick through the smoke in a pretty right time. And Impel gets the kill on uh, Basha gets the kill on Impel. It's a one on two for. Uh, Basha there, but he managed to get the kill. But he has no time left to plant the C4, and it's a pretty good gameplay coming in from Skadusha. Out there, not getting spot, and eventually a good run for the Yakshas, and not much points coming in for Basha there. Well, so a good round coming. Like... It's going neck to neck, ten v ten. It's like, <laughs> what do we know? It's like who's gonna win? Kya hone wala? Aaj, well, aage dekhi. Yeah, man. It's a pretty intense game coming in from both the sides, and uh, this is. Uh, I really, being yeah. Called a Finale, and yeah, exactly. Finale. What a tough fight! Insider. Yeah, and what th a tough fight! This is what we the casters live for. It's like, yeah, it's a dream to cast such matches, and the players are just playing exceedingly well. It's like nothing much to choose between both the teams, both stepping up the right moment. The Molly goes in, but recall master, he he doesn't have a op. I guess he, the he died in the previous round, and that is not helping his economy. So, flash goes in, and recall master goes out. Well, yeah, it was a nice exit coming in from him. Well, uh, Starboy is gonna shut down. Well, actually, uh, Starboy also gonna get shut down. So, uh, instant trade frag coming in from the players, making the four v four situation. But slots is really low on HP, just two HP left on him. So, single nade like he would not erase him off the map, or like a decoy could get him down to one HP. But if a decoy burst in front of him, he is pretty pretty much dead because it's a five damage coming in from and the decoy. And a steal from Freaky out over there, just sneaking out the Emperor of Star by there. And let's see whether he could destroy the Yakshas with their own gun. And he has an M4, and but he impaled, just blows off his head there, and he 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 didn't even let him enter the vent there. So that was brutal. Coming in from Impel, a flash going out from Skadoosh, but there's no one. But they are eventually making the retreat toward the site A. So it's like the mid is left open now, and Shadels, if they manage to do a nice job, but Impel with the two kills on Slots and Buster, I, it doesn't look good. And it's Rich with the headshot on Skadoosh. It's a one on two, and it's it's a one on three. My side, but Rich, let's see whether he would be going in for the round. I guess he would be, and he has made his way up to the four clip, but Impel shuts him down. So Impel. Skadoosh, Rikal Master, Mantri Starboy all standing up, and it's it, it's the difference what Starboy and Mantri is making. The same difference that Freaky and Slots made. So it's like they are just matching the opponents, a frag by frag and round by round. It's advantage Yakshas because Shadows don't have an economy on their side. But let's see whether they would be going in for the rush. I guess in an eco round you should be going in for the rush because passive gameplay won't help because you have your pistols. And if 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 you go one by one, one by one, it would be easy for the opponents to pick you. Yeah, so, look at this current scenario. Of Freaky playing aggressive over here, like the C4 is still holding behind. If something goes wrong, they would actually go for rotation. So Impel rushing in with that uh, nade over there, but like few fire coming in for him, and that is gonna push him off again towards the side. So he is now taking a, like a defensive posy and asking for a boost from Skadoosh over there with that like. Uh, Like just a movement coming in from his mouth. The players are gonna enter the side. It's gonna be Impel who's gonna shut down. Impel's gonna lose. What a tag team coming in from these two players! 
they made the Shadils repent for that decision. And now it's going to be Paul Kahn who's going to get shut down, making it a 12 10 score line. And looks like this game is currently moving towards the Aksha side as Cash is pretty much a city sided map. Like they are now proving it right. And the tactical pause coming in from the Shadils. At the right time, it's a buy run for the Shadils. And like, and, it, and Falcon would be like, what do we need to do? Because we don't have many rounds to play with, and if they manage to win this round, it would be very tough for them to make a comeback. So, a pause coming in at the right time, and they need to re strategize and need, they need to do it pretty quickly because if they lose one more round, it would be advantage, clear advantage for the Yakshas, and they would be they would be the clear favorites out over here and by the way all of them are playing it it, it doesn't look good it's like Mantri he was on 0, zero 5 he, 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 he wasn't able to open his frag One account six. in the yeah. first 6 round but look at him he's just stopping the leader bow and he's just securing the B side like a boss along with Recall Master Falcon so, doesn't have a single MVP like in this game it's like he's an in-game leader and he has been past the baton quite late. So he's just leading the team and just letting Reds being the hero. And you can see the eventually the transition of Reds from a leader to a normal player. And you could see the difference in frags. You could see the difference in his approach and his attitude. He's just playing fearless. It's like there's no pressure on him. It's a fresh Falcon. It's that kind of mental setup for him. And it's working for the Shaders and that is why they are in the finals. So perfect bikes coming in from both of the players. Looks like a rush coming in from the Yakshas and Reds is gonna take an escape over there. That's he's got a team flash and the opponents as well. So perfect flash coming in from the Shadows over there and nice backup just to save the captain. It was an amazing move coming in from them as well. Well now it's gonna be Buster who's firing at the perfect angle, but the bullets won't connect and won't give them so much damage. Well, a nice retreat over to the side back. Well, I didn't expect that rush coming in from the Yakshas. Because they are just trying to outsmart the Shadils out over here. The rush coming in in the first two rounds and a passive gameplay coming in after that. And in the buy round, they just they, they just tried to uh, surprise the Shadils and they eventually managed to pull it off. But it was Ritz and his teammates who come, came in with the right back backup and the flashbang being the saviour there. So, Impale, he has, has he given info to Slots and what is Slots doing out over there? It's like everything is, happen, is happening right next to you and he's just going in like a butterfly over there. It, it, it's like he wanted to go into the wench but it's like Impale just spots them and he takes and he couldn't connect the bullets and a good spray coming in from Ritz and Buster there but they have taken much uh, majority of the damage but Falcon coming in with the right kill on Mantri and let's see it's a three on four it's advantage shades but not uh, HP is not on their side it's like Skadoosh with his AK and they don't have any they have a smoke and the smoke goes out and Freaky just going in with the smoke and he also has a flash Street flash but Scrapboy taking Impale Scrapboy taking Ritz and the C4 has gone down, it's all up to Falcon, and, but Falcon is taken down by Skadoosh out over there. Falcon taking bullets and Shabwar closing that round. What a play coming in from the Yakshas. They are standing big, and they are standing up big right time, and you could hear it from the dugout. They are going crazy, and as soon as they win this, I bet you this stadium will erupt. They would be going bonkers, they would be going right at the pitch of the opponents, and it's like, yeah, come man. on, you, you just challenge us, and this is what we come up with, and share this. Tense faces in the dugouts, tense faces on the stage. It's like they don't know what's act, what yeah. uh, what went wrong for them, what went wrong for them so quickly, and the rush coming in, and eventually Mansuri couldn't yeah. get, couldn't manage to get a kill. But Rikal Master coming with acting and getting three kills, and reaction when the Mansuri gets it, 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 it will call an over for the Shades, but no, it's like 14 rounds for the Yakshas. Look and at the lead of four man. rounds for the Yakshas. Well, look at the Yakshas like chanting towards the crowd. What is going on? Oh my god, that rage coming in from the dugout man. What is going on? This is just crazy game coming in from the Yakshas man. Like, Bhavna mein bhe gaya banda yaar. Well, it's not it, it looking good for Shades, it's bro. In, the, in this match setup. And the kind of audience we have, it's like yeah. you... You cannot, uh, you, you cannot evade their eye. They'll eventually spot you and pick on you. And if you, and if you get memes angry, coming in. <laughs> you memes have coming memes in coming then. in, and yeah. you, you will have a name for quite a long time, and you will be getting a nickname soon.
Yeah, it's Freaky who's gonna shut down Starboy in and getting that initial frag. Now he's gonna play an aggressive game. He's possible to get a shot taking coming in from second frag as well, going for the third frag. I want a and shot coming in. Three headshots coming in from Freaky. Three headshots in the span of six bullets. Oh my God, Freaky is just going crazy over there. Well, he didn't like the jam thing coming in from the Yaksha. I guess he, he just so went he in for a quick nap, a power nap, and he's up from deep, deep slumber out over here. Well, he is just going crazy with those frag right now, getting those initial kills. It looks nice for them and looks like it's going to be a force uh, save coming in for the Yaksha over there. With the orb has also gone down and it's going to be Mantri who's going to face Buster and he is going to shut down him as well. So, 14-11. Looks like the Shadils are not going to make this easy for the Yakshas to take the throne, to take that U Cypher trophy and the chant coming in. Oh my god, this is, this is like a rivalry coming in. Yeah. I, I don't know why they're why they getting angry. It's like if you get angry, you give the mobile <laughs> to pick on you. So it's like giving in at the emotion to going too high for both the teams and Freaky. He's 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 taking the baton to do the anti fragging for the team. It's like the team, the player, the real player stands up when the team requires him, and that is what Freak is doing very well out over here. And let's see whether he could continue. I know Strack coming in, and let's see. And he managed to get, he couldn't manage it. Oh, he just he went low on HP over there, and now it's gonna be Starboy just left on seven HP, but still a one man lead coming in for the Yakshas. Looks like it's uh, going to uh, not going towards the Shadows because. Uh, not proper rush coming in, not proper flashes, just random mollies and I don't know what's going on with their stats. I think they have lost hope or something. What's going on with them, man? Because but it's they a nice posy like, coming in from Mantri. He is not being spotted and if, if they just take it for granted and the site is clear, he could do some serious... And he comes up with two frags and recall Marcha and Bolton. It's match point. Yuck, match all point. happened in a split 10 seconds. I don't know what happened in that round, but it's advantage the Yakshas. They are on match point. But Shadil still have an economy and let's see whether we are going in for an over team. Over time, it's a over time, not over well, team. Yeah, it's over time. Well, yeah, 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 <laughs> well, perfect bias coming in from both the teams. This is going to be the final if the Yakshas are going to take this home or no. I'm not looking towards the crowd right now because these guys are just crazy. And I just want to look at, at the game. Looks like a push coming in. Hard push from the Shadils. It's going to be first first frag from Buster. And Slots coming in, killing those initial frags. And uh, shutting down the Yakshas. Oh, instant fragging coming in from them. And Recall Master left in a 1v4 situation. Well, he spots Ritz, but he was going to do a stag him. And now it's going to be Ritz coming with a backfire. I don't know why Recall the Shadils Master. are... And I don't know why the Shades are not, not going in for the rush. Aggressive the, the, play, the, yeah. The, the kind good. of rush, they are, they are managing to secure the A side pretty comfortably. But they are trying to outfox them and go, go towards the B side. And they should know clearly by now that, that they are not able to enter the B side properly. It's, it's the A main side where they are doing most of the damage. But again, they are going in for the B side. It could prove fatal for them because they don't have the economy on the side. The Yakshas, they are, petting it, they are playing it pretty safe. They, uh, they have a cushion of three rounds. They are on pressure is on Shades now to win each and every round. Well, a fake move popping Sorry. in towards the bomb side A, and this is going to be confusing for the Yakshas. And they are uh, not playing pretty much aggressive compared to what they are playing right now. And the one by one, the flags are just falling <coughs> into the server as they are on ego. The economy has been destroyed for the Yakshas, and Starboy is going to just shut down Reds over there. So, making it a 4v2 situation. Well, Starboy with the AK, and he is actually going for a save. So, currently they are like on match point, and they do not want to take any risk over there. Well, Starboy taking a perfect angle. And uh, it's going to be Skadoosh who's going to just run off because he has a deagle and an armor and a kit as well. So, a pretty good gameplay coming in from the Shadows. Where was this aggressive gameplay earlier when they needed it? Well, it's Buster low on HP but he is actually planning to push over there and he just... Think, but it's surely going to be Starboy if Buster pushes in. It's surely going to be Starboy who's going to shut him down. Well, that just happened over there and going for the second frag but Falcon won't let him save the AK as he is going to shut him down. So, a nice round coming in but just two rounds left uh, in the game and it's going to be 13 to 15 the scoreline. It's eventually the last round you can call it. If, if the Shades managed to win this, the Yakshas would be eco and they would be eventually going and they would be eventually tying up the map and the scoreline would be 15 all. So, this is the deciding round. And if Shadils loses, it's curtains for them. And if Yakshas loses, we are going into overtime.
But let's see both yeah. of them. And a rush coming in from Impale, a very ambitious rush coming in from Impale and Skadoosh. They just tried to pull out a, a, a kind of upset out over here, but they couldn't manage to do it. And Impale again had a pretty dangerous posy and he killed Slodge. And Slodge just ent is just entering mid with no, no, yeah. no clear mission. Look it's at like the current setup. It's like three players towards A and two players towards B. So currently they are not playing the aggressive gameplay that they were playing earlier, and that was actually working for them. So I don't know what is going to happen, but they do have like uh, utilities and flashes and smokes to just enter the site and clearly. But still one minute on the clock, so it's a huge time to go in, and uh, they are making like pretty much use of it perfectly. But Recall Master lining up that shot and slots is going to move into his crosser over there, and he's going to shut him down easily, making it a four v five situation. And Falcon going low on HP, it's going to be freaky moving to the side and he's going to get one frag on Skadoosh. Going for the second frag as well on Recall Master. Not looking good for the Yakshas right now. The smoke pops in and there's a knot of vision much left for the Yakshas. Freaky going with the third kill as well, making the 3v2 situation. One man advantage coming in for the Sheridans. And now, well, 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 the frag are going down. It's going to be Starboy left in this situation. Oh my God, it's going to be 14 to, 14 to 15. And it's all happening oh, out over here. It's final like the round, dude. Going in for the OT. Not much economy left on the Yaksha side. And Freaky, what do I call him? I'm out of adjectives. He is, over here. Yeah, man, it's this guy him. is just on his game today. Looks like we are going for uh, overtime if these guys win this. An aggressive push coming in from the share deals. And I'm pretty much sure the Yakshas won't be able to handle that. And Falcon just giving a boost to Buster over there. It's like going for the mid push coming in from Buster. The flash comes in like at the wrong time from this player. And it's gonna team flash him over there and uh, well Impel is going to play an aggressive posy towards the A mains as he doesn't want the players to push. Well all of them are currently like are playing towards a passive strategy because they do not want any mistakes to just go in there and Freaky going into the first frag on Skadoosh and now with a one man advantage over the share this but the breaking defense and now just going to confuse them. The chant coming in for the players. Well, Impel is going to get a flag over Falcon. Recall Master getting the free key. And now Re uh, Riz is going to just go for a refrag on Recall Master, making it a 3v3 situation. Well, now they have the AK as well on Impel and Starboard with the SMG. But Manthi just with a P250 holding towards Bombside B and Slots is uh, trying to make an entry with two players towards the bombside B and there is no one on A. So a rotation would work, but Impel coming in from behind and it's gonna be Buster who's gonna shut him down, making it a one-man advantage towards their side. And it's gonna be Mantri not with much utilities on him. He just has a P250 and armor to work with right now. It's got all on Starboy right now, but he gets shut down. And Mantri, we are going for it! Oh, what a game coming What a game, man! This is what you ought to see. This is the finale, and, and this is how this is you the, play. And man. this is what a finale should be made of. I think this is scripted, but this is not. Not and man. This is a this kind is of comeback, and this is a kind of final you you wish to live for. And I just wish to live for eternity out of way. And I don't know. And I and I pray that this shouldn't get over. Well, it we looks like yeah. Break. We'll take a short break coming in for the OT and. A pretty nice game coming in. So currently we are going for a short break. We'll see you after that. If it's a draw, it's again going to go for an OT. <laughs> well, the game is right now on. And now let's see. It's going to be the overtime coming in for the next, uh, for this game. So all the 30 rounds you have played right now, it has gone to total waste. But now it all depends on this six rounds who is gonna win this one. Well,
push coming in from Impale. It's going to be the first tag. It's going to be Freaky who's going to shut him down. And now Starboy is in the smokes as the smoke disappears. He is going to disappear too. But no, it's going to be Starboy who's going to shut Freaky down, making it an like equal situation for both the teams. Well, now Rika wants to still with the op. And it's on this, him, man. Yeah, I just broke my voice. It's like I'm losing my voice too. And it's like, it's like if there has to be one one people and one person you need to point out here for the Shailis, it's freaky. Had he not stand up, it would have been impossible for Shailis to make a comeback. But nevertheless, he, he got an entry frag on Impale there, just shutting him in out for the game. And the experience is not uh, on, on the side of the Yakshas, not because Impale, he is <laughs> high on experience. Game, and he's playing in for a pretty long time and if he's alive he would pass on the info would be which would be invaluable to his players and Falcon gets a kiss and Falcon just like a killer recoil master all happening here Starboy Mantri let's see whether they would be going in for the round Mantri it's been sandwiched from all sides and it takes on and taken on by Basha out over here it's a Starboy let's see do we have a star out over here let's see how much he sides but no it's gonna be a star fall right now and Rich is gonna shut him off what a game, ladies and gentlemen. This is just getting our heartbeats faster and faster and faster as the game is down a stretch. Whoa, this is, is a finale we want to see, dude. Just pumping, it's like pounding. Like perfect finale ever, ever seen. It's in like my a perfect whole Bollywood life, dude. movie. It's yeah. like villain Akil last one Lake Jaiga. But let's see. And now the boost coming in, the volley is already there. It's gonna be Falcon who's gonna shut down Impale and then he's gonna give his life for free over there by burning to death and now Starboy playing a uh, and now it's gonna be Starboy who's playing towards the roof and now the flash goes in the smoke goes in as well four on four situation but a double up setup coming in from the players Mantri with a nice angle shut, shutting down Buster over there making it a one man advantage for them and the C4 is still dropped at the perfect location but now it's I mean, the double rinse it's gonna pick up Starboy it's gonna do the perfect angle oh but he just misses those shots on uh, the players who moving into the side, it's gonna be freaky on the side, and Skadoosh has been gone down. Slots just picking up instantly. Player waiting towards the car, but no much, not much vision to him because the smoke has been already dropped in. Like looks like they are actually going for a save. Yes, it's a save, and surely it's gonna be a 17-15 coming in for the shaders as the player are moving towards save because the economy for them has been destroyed as they use all two rounds. And we have a perfect script for the final. Shade is just looking at change team. They have pulled out seven. If I'm not wrong, they have pulled out seven Dude. to eight rounds and two there's rounds in OT and five left. rounds. And there's, a, there's still a switch left. And, and if they just managed to get all the three rounds, it would be pretty tough for the Yakshas and they would be feeling the pressure and they and there's a whole lot of pressure and you can't even imagine what they are go, going through now. It it's like the I am actually pretty nervous because the thing is like at, at the day start. Exactly, it's going the same thing. I said Hans is gonna win. Uh, for so we have a Baba in the house, Jeremy. Let's concentrate on the game, man. I'm saying about the game only because I'm like on the share side because uh, they have been playing really good. So and I want them to win. Not being biased, but yeah, looking towards their gameplay and the team energy, I do really like that. And now this round is gonna be the last round for the first switch coming in for the overtime. Well, Nate goes in perfectly. Freaky just firing over there thinking that someone will push, but there is no aggressive gameplay coming in from the Yakshas as they do want to play defensive in this round. So because we saw what happened to them when they rushed. It's just like Yakshas would be hoping to clinch this round because if they don't, they would be in a lot of pressure and they are playing very passive. It's like not the usual rushes coming in from Impale and Skadoosh there. They are, they are now scared. I can guarantee you that uh, there's a way of wave of terror they're feeling right now. It's like Shavels. If they if they manage to win this round, it would be curtains for them. And Shavels, uh, Rich just faking uh, here and just uh, telling them that we are coming in for a B setup. But no, they are. It's like a, a perfect script from the Chuck the India. It's like ये तो left जा रहा है. Right जा रहा है. Okay, the smokes are gonna pop in soon as the glass breaks towards the uh, side and. Now looking like the rush is gonna come soon from the Shadil. They have made an entry to the other side. It's gonna be Mantri missing few bullets, but Impel is still over there. And Impel is gonna shut down as well. Well, not looking good for the Yaksha. It's, it's gonna be a three or four situation. And Recall Master head rating towards the heaven. And now he's gonna shut down Freaky, making a 3v3 situation. He has a perfect info where the players are waiting towards on this side. And Buster sitting on the sea for comfortably. 
I and he's just see guarding you. the C4 and he's like, you cannot defuse my C4. I've, I've just this is my it. C4, it's my And plan. Recoil Master, he, he needs to stand up, he needs to hit some crazy shots and Rich takes on Skadoosh. It's all up to Recoil Master and Starboy now. Let's see whether Star could shine or he would be put off soon. But Master should take the start out. And Master oh is going to Recoil Master. All his hands are going over your stages. They have the clear advantage, mind you, and it's just a, they are just a round away from the championship. Yeah. And it's all getting this crazy getting, out over here. I am getting sweat, dude. Like this is an amazing game coming in. I'm losing my voice, but I don't care right now because this is a game that we wanted to see from a long time. And this is Meri just, just a game. Yeah, and and this this is is just just a final round. If the Shadows win this, they are gonna get 10k lead. Oh no, my bad. So they both are gonna get 10k. <laughs> dude, my voice. I'm losing it right now, but. I don't give a flying freak right now because this is just the end. And we are just end. seeing a lava I... being hit up. And if Shadeless win, win this, we have a lava. We have a lava. His name is Opa. He's just going to hit up and he's just going to bring them down. Singing yeah, of course. That dude. is what he's seeing right now, standing nice to me. But let's see what happens. It's all up to Shadeless. Shadeless, it's clear advantage now, but let's see what happens. I can challenge you if the Shadeless are winning this. I am gonna just shout and scream and lose my voice and would also go for a rap at the end of this round. So now let's see what is going to happen. If the round starts, 1 minute 55 seconds on the clock, it's going to be whose game. Let's see, a rush coming in from uh, the Yakshas now because no, they have currently split. So let's see what is the perfect game plan coming in for them. So players are moving towards A main as well, which playing aggressive with his AWP Impel already on his posy and giving a boost, a nice boost coming in for slot. So he should play like a 200 IQ player that we have seen in the previous game. It was Mithil over there when he finds Mantri over there, but missing few shots. He is finally going to get down Mantri. Slot Shaker Mantri, he's been quite out over there. And now it's going to be Impel who's going to shut down slots when Freaky is just standing into the fire. It's going to be a risky position for him. Well, he is going to go down and it's going to be Impel just going raining frags on the server. Right now, it's making it a 2v4, 2v4, or 1v4 situation right now. It's going to be Buster just left and he's going to shut down the diffuser and, uh, uh, sorry, the planter. The C4 goes down and Starboy is going to shine right now as he gets one frag in this round. And still, the game continues. We are still in the game. And Yakshas managing to survive another day out over here. They managed to pull up around, but they still have economy left on their side. So they would be going in for a full buy and they would be coming out all guns blazing. So let's see what's happening. They are going in for an aggressive B rush out over here. But we have Falcon and Freaky guarding the side and they would be hoping to avoid Freaky. But a rush coming in from the Yakshas out over here. They take a recall master, takes out Freaky and it's all up to Falcon. Falcon gets one kill. He couldn't get another so no, no, wrong spray coming in of Falcon. But there, 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 there comes a backup. Slot takes on Falcon but Monty takes on Slot. It's a two on three. It's all to choose. But Starboy takes on Master. Let's see whether the captain can pull it off for his team. But right now, it's a one on three and Reds would be going in for the round. But Impel is in a pretty good position right now. He's at the boiler and he has a first shot. A but what are we seeing? Save. Are we seeing more drama out over here? Reds going in for the save out over here. <coughs> well, looking like Reds is going to go for a save. He has a knife in his round, a knife in his hand. So... Knife in his round. In his round. So what I was saying, dude, I'm losing words. Losing You're getting jiggle big in your words. Yeah, dude. It's all and over for me. Like, looks like this is the end of my voice. But... Pretty much in the next season, I would be there. So now let's see. Oh, Impel getting rich over there and looking like this is gonna be the last round. And will it be going for a next overtime or will be will be seeing an uh, end to this game as uh, if the Shadows win this? But not looking good on the economy side. And this is pretty much a dis uh, like a disaster coming in for for the Shadows. No economy left, just two kits on them. Like they do have armors and upgrade pistols to work with for this round. But uh, looking towards the Yaksha side, they have like full economy and like full resources and utilities to work with. So uh, like the passive pose is coming in from the city that they do not want now to go and play a little bit aggressive. And uh, yeah, a good game coming in from both teams. Like this is a finale you guys would enjoy too. And Watch. some of you might even pay for it. It's just such a perfect script to a finale. But let's see whether the Shades would manage to do some damage with that Deagle. Or uh, will it the, be the Yakshas who would have the last laugh and would just be closing it. So it's like Starboy taking that Falcon out over there. Impel takes down, right? So it's like 
I think we are going in for an OT, but what do we see? Impaled just burned down Sabo. It's like, come on, I didn't have barbecue from a long, long time, and let's let's have some. Well, now Slot's going in for the frag over Skadoosh, and it's going to be Buster who's going to shut him down. A nice tag team coming in, but the players are going insane over here. But now we are going for a second overtime, ladies and gentlemen. This is a never ending game coming in. It is just making me thirsty. And I think it's going to be like a raining pack each and everywhere. I don't know what's going to happen in the next round as well. Will we go for a third OT? But I don't think so because I don't want to go to the third OT because they should Because my boys won't one. be holding one another OT. It's like coming, yeah, my, coming in bits and pieces right now. Even my voice is <coughs> broke right now and we don't know. Look at the current scenario of this stadium, dude. Every freaking guy, every freaking girl is just on their foot looking towards the screen and on the players, look at on, on, the, on the side like where the players are standing. Everyone is on their foot. This is an interesting game coming in. And what a match to see. And even it's going to be me and Anurag on our foot right now. Because we are just we done are with it and we want to get it this. over. We don't want to be on this hot seat anymore. And this is going to be a game where we're going to stand and cast for you guys. This is going pretty much an amazing game. Well, it's going to be the second OT which is going to start right now. And the sides have been like on the same side. And share this first playing a CD. So let's see what is going to happen. Well, perfect buys coming in from both of the teams as they get 10 10k on each of the sides. And now uh, Skadoosh is going to like, it's going to be Ritz who's going to take some fire over there. And now taking the fire against Impale. And Ritz is going to shut him down. And a 4v3 and a 4v5 situation coming in for them. A nice, uh, a nice one man advantage coming in for the players. Uh, looking through at the current scenario, there is not much happening as the players have been like getting one frag and just moving back. So a passive gameplay coming in from from the players. It's going to be Mantri who's holding towards the B, uh, towards bomb side B, and is going for like uh, if he's actually lurking behind there because he doesn't want a player to push from behind and going for a backstab. Well, it's going to be Recall Master uh, holding towards the A main, a perfect volley going in towards the forklift as Falcon was just holding there and he, they made him fall back to, and retreat towards the side. And uh, like for proper smokes going in towards this round and the C4 had made, has made a rotation towards Bombside B. Looking like a wrong situation coming in for the Shaders because they are not ready for the switch coming in. And Skadoosh is going to shut down Slots and Ritz coming in with the frag on Skadoosh. Uh, refrag coming in. But Sabo is going to shut down Ritz making it a 3v3 situation with C4. It's in on the side and Sabo is going to shut down Freaky making it a 2v3 situation. Well, the Molly goes in so Falcon can't enter the site right now. And this is looking like a disaster for the Shaders right now because they should actually go for, they should actually offer a save for this round because the economy would be destroyed for this uh, if they go for like a second round as well. So and I'm not hasn't on spotted this, yeah. uh, Starboy yet. So Starboy is in a pretty good position. It's like he, he just gets a kill on Basha yeah. from behind. And it's Falcon. Falcon gets the first kill. Let's see whether he will be going in for the round. And he just switched to his AK. Let's see whether he will be going the, uh, that if his sound goes in. It's like some of the player. And he gets a kill on Starboy. Oh, Recall Master just surviving. The, he has a kit on hand. Let's see whether he will be going in. But no, it's all in over. And Recall Master gets the frag out over there. So Yaksha, they, they were a man down. But they match, still managed to make a comeback out over there. So it's not looking, I guess the map is not going anywhere out over here. It's just going in, heading in for another overtime. Yeah, looks like it's going to go for a third OT as well, dude. This is going insane. Like, they are getting rounds left, right and center. But if Yakshas do manage to get, like, all three rounds towards the T side, they, it's going to be pretty sure it's going to be their game because uh, a city side round can be pulled out easily because it's, like, uh, competitively, like, a city side map. Like, we have seen the earlier gameplay, so... So, but it doesn't look like it. It's like they managed to make a quite a comeback in the D side as well because they just pulled yeah. out three rounds. So you cannot uh, comment. Uh, so we, we are not a good. In a, we are not in a very good position to comment which side this map would go. But I, I suppose I guess this will be going in towards another overtime. But I hope not because I have to shout for another six rounds. But <laughs> it happens. But it's all happening out of here. Well, this is an interesting game coming in because even we have got up from our hot seats. And uh, looking at the current scenario, like the players are playing passive, still one minute on the clock. The molly goes into the fall gift, and it's going to be Rico Master who's going to shut down Freaky over there. He's just going Freaky with those frags right now. And Falcon waiting towards the side. He's trying to manage one frag, but no, it's going to be Impel who's going to shut him down. Well, Buster is going to take a refrag on Starboy, making it a 2v4 situation. But Rico Master coming in with one more frag, and now Buster has lost his life, just popping his head off. 
And now it's one by one, the players are going down. What is this happening to the Sayers right now? They have lost their hope and I don't they think They haven't so. lost their hope. It's like you, you cannot comment. It's like it, it was a 3-0 in the first uh, OT as well. So let's see if, if it's 3-0, Sayers shouldn't be disheartened by the fact that they have lost, lost all the three rounds and they can, uh, they can make a comeback at the uh, Yakshas did. But Sayers, they would be going in for this one, but the economy is not on their side. So they have to do something very extraordinary to pull this round off. Otherwise, it would be a 3-0 lead for the Yakshas and eventually they would be the favourites. But Let's see what happens. You you uh, you cannot write off the shadows yet. Yeah, because uh, the, the economy has been destroyed pretty much because I told them like no, not to go for the first track like uh, at the first round because uh, the economy was actually destroyed for them like at that round when they moved in for the first round because you have seen that game uh, like in the previous one when uh, they had to go for a save. It's but like I can't remember to... any game. It's like the, this, this is the only <laughs> this is the game I can that think we of. Have right it's now. like my mind is just, uh, too saturated now. But oh, it's, it's, it's like Yakshas, I get they're going to a three yeah. lovely chop. I takes on Falcon. It's Buster the lone survivor. Let's see whether the lone lone bull. The Buster would, would be, be yeah. the lone loop surviving or will he be hunted down? He has to go in for the round because there's no point of there is no option of saving. Saving, dude. He like has he, to go yeah. in, he has to dive or he he has to kill them. It, I stop, what I a tap okay. coming in, dude. What a what tap a coming uh, in, wow. dude, man. This is just insane. Now the Yakshas just need one round to win this and they would win the finals, dude. This is going to be a pretty amazing game. And say it is, they like, have dude. to play out of the skin if, if they have to stay in the hunt. They, they, cannot, they cannot afford or they, they cannot manage. It's like losing and losing even a single round is not an option for them. They have to go all in and they have to go all guns blazing. So let's see. Yakshas, they have the clear advantage now uh, securing a 3 love lead in the second OT. And it's, they just require a round. They are on match point. They have three yeah. match points right now. Well, look at those frags coming in on Starboy on 34 with like 25 deaths. But still a good score coming in from them. And I, where is Mantri? Let me find him. Like he's, oh my oh, goodness. He's in between did, both did, the players. Did you just frags. notice who is topping the frags for the Yakshaza? It's Starboy, the support, the fifth yeah. player. And uh, with six MVPs, dude, like he is on top right now from both the teams. So six MVPs, MVPs coming in. The round has been switched. The Yakshas will now play as the CTs and it's going to be only the final round. They just need one round. So I do expect a rush game coming in from the Shadils because they are good with it. So already on the side, like four, uh, it's going to be a 4-1 split coming in from the players. Mm, let me see. It's going to be a 2-2-1 split coming in because uh, it's going to be Buster who is moving towards the Blue Doors Freaky towards a -Main, and two guys are holding towards mid. Well, this is going to go for a backstab, but it's going to be Impel who's going to shut down Freaky, the main fragger for the team and now not looking good for the Shadows as the main guy has gone down. So, Falcon just waiting over there like for one more frag if someone pushes in. So, it's going to be a pretty much but passive game coming in from the Yakshas right now because they do not want to give a simple frag. But now, the Shadows would be worried because it was Freaky who was carrying the flag held up high in the D side and the anti fragger has been brought down. So, it's all up to Buster and Falcon now. Falcon needs to step up and he needs to uh, step up big time because he's looking at the bottom of the leaderboard there. He just mm -hmm. has 19 frag to his name and it doesn't do justice to his name out over there. So let, uh, let's see where, uh, what are they doing for Bata. Molly goes in blocking the uh, path entrance, of Bata, yeah. uh, blocking the entrance of Buster and Rich has made it anti towards the A side and so Tabo takes him down. It's a 5 on 3. Tabo oh takes on the one. It's Buster who takes on Tabo. It's a 4 on 2. He takes takes on Buster. Falcon has to play stand up and he, he, he takes on Mantri out over there. It's like 1 on 3. It's like Falcon, if you if Shadils want to survive and yes, if they want dude, to see yes. another day, he has to survive. Let's cut the first one. He kills it! Oh Let's my god! Yes. He 